Okay, so I've just received this package. Uh, the fact that I can hear water in it can only mean that it's the uh, the water puzzle that I bought off eBay. So let's open this up. So this is actually going to be my first ever water puzzle, and uh, to be honest, they do look quite fun. Well, this is a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. So this is a Long Crane Broxton Aquabatics puzzle. And as you can see, some of the water is missing. Um, it's really common um, for water to evaporate from these old water puzzles. This one is called Upwardler Mobile. Um, I think this was made in 2001 and I don't think this has ever been opened before. So I'll just give you a close up look at it. So as you can see we've got a mobile phone um, and you've got these numbers so I guess you're supposed to float the numbers over to these holes and then you've got these little balls which you'll have to float over to these smaller holes um, and yeah, it says copyright Long, Long Crane Broxton 2001. So, how old would this be then? Um, 2011, that's 10 years. So, 15 years old, I think. So yeah, it's quite unfortunate that with these, you know, these old water puzzles, the water does somehow evaporate from them. I'm not really sure how, since it's encased in plastic, but I don't know. Maybe the plastic is uh, permeable. Is that the right word? Or maybe the seal, because we've got like a, a seam there around the outside of the puzzle. So maybe it's not like a 100% seal, and that's how the water. Uh, can evaporate. So yeah, it's kind of. Oh, there we go. Got a knot um, in there. Yeah, it's quite difficult getting these um, these things to float around. I think they're actually stuck to the surface of the puzzle. So yeah, on the Twister Puzzles forum, I was talking about the fact that uh, that these old puzzles, they do, the water does evaporate from them over time, and um, someone said that maybe you know if if you add like a like a sharp needle on a syringe, maybe you could kind of twist it against the plastic, and it would carve a small hole into the plastic, and then you could in inject water into the puzzle, and then seal the hole with some silicone seal sealant or something like that. Um, so that's something that I'm actually going to try doing. Um, not sure what to do about these bits that are stuck. I guess I just need to tap it hard enough to get them unstuck. So I've been away and I've been trying to get things unstuck. Um, I've managed to get a lot of these plastic numbers unstuck, but then sometimes some of them will just get stuck again. Same kind of thing with the balls as well. Um, sometimes I'll free some of them, but then... Um, some of them will end up getting stuck again and also when I was looking at this I noticed something on the side there's like a little peg there so I'm guessing that when this was in the factory there was a hole there and that's how they filled this up with with water and then they pushed a plastic peg into it to, to seal it now I've been trying for a really long time you can see the pegs coming through there I've been trying for a really long time to try and um, get this peg out of the puzzle, but um, I just can't. And also, you, there's like a seam in between these two pieces of plastic. And um, I put a screwdriver in there and tried to surprise them apart, but I didn't manage to. And in fact, it just kind of 
chipped the plastic there. I've tried unscrewing it, but that won't that won't work. So I'm guessing it's not actually screwed on. So yeah, something else that I've noticed as well is that, like this big air bubble here, you can see like the level of water there, but then there's another level of water behind it, which is quite strange. So it's as though it's as though there's a sheet of plastic like in the middle of the puzzle. And uh, on this side you've got water, and on the other side you've got water, which is quite strange. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about this because uh, you know I could I could like get a syringe and like use a needle on it, like twist it against the plastic and carve a hole in so it to fill it up with water. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about these balls that I keep getting stuck. I mean, if I can't really do anything about that, then there's no point in trying to fill it up with water. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's no great loss really because I only paid about a pound for this and two pound eighty for postage. So, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money on it. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.